So after what's been a pretty sad week for Wednesday fans with the news coming out about Trevor Francis and Chris Bart Williams, we're going to focus now on moving forward. And we have actually had some good news. I've been pressing refresh for a few weeks, nothing happening. But we have actually now signed a couple of players. First one, Juan Delgado, a right back. So, Juan Delgado, 30 years old. He's a right back, right wing back, right winger, or apparently can do a job on the left hand side of midfield. His senior career started at Colo Colo and played for Gymnastic. Tondela on loan. Nakaxa, I can't say that. I mean, Mexican's not very good. Paco, Fie, Paco Sviera. Ferreira. Gordon Bennett, this is going to be a long season for me. And obviously, it moved to Wednesday. He has actually had 13 caps for Chile as well, the first cap in 2014. Over 300 league appearances he's made in his career, so uh, not behind Dory experience. When was the last time we signed a full international? Alman Abdi? Yeah. Well, actually, that does bring me on to a point, because after a summer where we hadn't signed anybody, we eventually get a body over the line. And already there's been one or two sort of dissenting voices. And that's probably understandable because it's been a, a summer of upheaval. And with the prices, Darren Morgan and everything else, all the, the chairman's various missives, there's been a lot of negativity around the club. So we bring a player in. He's 30 years old. And I think there's a little bit of people panicking. That, oh, we're back in championship. We're going back to our old ways of not signing young players. We're going to sign over the hill has-beens who are here for the last payday we'll just have a little pick at a few of those things firstly they're coming here for the last payday I think if you come into the championship for the last payday Sheffield Wednesday is probably the last club that you'll be coming to if we look at the subtle message in the, the manager's interviews that he's done in the last few weeks I think it seems quite apparent that there is really hardly any budget at Wednesday this season we're certainly not going to be paying for players and you do get what you pay for as for players coming here to toss it off and, you know, just over the hill and all these other cliches that we throw about, just because he's 30 do not mean he's over the hill. It's about attitude. Look in the past players that we've had. I mean, this week we've lost our own Trevor Francis, who was 36 when we signed him and gave us two or three fantastic seasons as a player. Equally, Viv Anderson in that side, by the time he'd finished playing for Wednesday, 39 years old, still playing in the top flight. So I think we've got to try and forget a little bit about this age thing. I know in the past, in the more recent history of the club, the last five, six years or so, older players have come in and let us down a little bit. But everybody's going to be treated as an individual. So Juan Delgado's come in. He is 30. Maybe he's not got the, the physicality or the pace that he had when he was 20 years old. Very few people have. But if he's got the hunger and the desire, we could have three, four, five years out of him. He might turn out to be an exceptionally good signing for Wednesday. But we've got to give him that opportunity. Chris Waddle was 30 when he signed. Probably the greatest player to pull on a Wednesday shirt. I didn't really hear any dissenting voices about his age. And if they were, they were very quickly forgotten once he started performing on the park. And that's the thing, we've got to give these players an opportunity. We've got to see what they could do out there in the league games. So let's not be writing Delgado off. It's about having a good attitude. And you're just as likely to get a 22-year-old kid who's had a bad attitude and, and tosses it off and going through the motions as you have a 30-year-old bloke. It's about players who want to be the best they can be as long as they can be. And we should know that as Wednesday fans because our skipper's 33 years old. You probably won't see anybody working harder on pitch. We've got Lee Gregory up front. But 36 years old, is he 35 years old? Probably still best finisher on books. Does he look like he's going through emotions? No, he's always putting a full shift in. That's, you can't accuse players of not putting a shift in just because of their age or saying, is he as sharp as he was when he was 21? Probably not. But he's got experience, he's got nous, uses the space well. Delgado might come into that similar thing, but on the right hand side. Experience, we shouldn't underrate it. It'll go a long way, especially in this division. I'm not saying he's going to be a, a world beater or anything like that. But we're talking about a bloke who's had over 300 career appearances and played international football. He's not going to be behind the door. So let's give him an opportunity and see what he can do. 
Second signing, a long player from Watford, a forward, Ashley Fletcher. Ashley Fletcher, 27 years old, is a forward, 181 games, 28 goals. Don't look the best record, we'll come to that later though. Started his career at Manchester United uh, as a youth player. I think I think originally actually started at Bolton as a their kid. Long spell at Barnsley before moves to West Ham and then Middlesbrough. Long spell at Sunderland and most recently the move to Watford. Since then, more loan spells, New York Red Bulls, Wigan Athletic and now come to Hillsborough. Former England under-20 international where he got three uh, three appearances and two goals. So early potential there, perhaps not fulfilled yet. Ashley Fletcher, I keep thinking of Fred Elliott from Coronation Stream. Ashley, I said, Ashley, I does, anyway. 27 years old, that's a good age. See, see what I mean? We can talk about age. Oh, it's a good age. Um, a potential age. Over the hill. Sometimes it's about finding the right environment. And I mentioned this when we just did the little sort of uh, calling card thing about him. Maybe not the best goals record, but if you look at his career, he's come through at Manchester United. Very promising. England under-20 international caps with a goals record to go with it. Two goals in three games. So early potential there. Now it's perhaps not worked out for him. But things go on off and on the pitch. You don't know what's happening in people's lives. And sometimes it can be as simple as having a manager you might not get on with. Or who don't believe in you. Sometimes it might be you've moved to an area where you don't settle. I mean players are moving all over the country. Maybe he didn't settle in different places. Maybe he signed for clubs that didn't play a style of football that he could particularly fit into. It's about getting the right people, the right time, the right manager. And despite his record not living up to the potential that he had at one time, what's to say that he doesn't come to Wednesday and everything clicks into place and this becomes the place that sort of becomes his home? We've seen that before with players. 27 years old, still got plenty of years ahead of him. And if he comes in here and he clicks, especially in the way that the manager clearly wants us to try and play football, could be a, a terrific signing for us. And as it is, it's a, a loan. If it don't go as well as that we hope, don't, you know, it stops being our problem again at the end of the season. So, again, maybe, maybe not the record that people want. We all want to say, oh, this kid, 20 goals that season, 18 that season, 19 that season. Those players cost a lot of money. People with a a one in two and a one in three goals record cost a lot of money. We're not going to be spending a lot of money. But if we can hew out a little diamond and get someone to fit in, obviously the, the manager knows him as well. That's got to count for a bit. Could be an excellent signing for us. So with both him and Delgado, let's give them a chance before we start slating them off. Do you know what I mean? And I know some of it is frustration with the club because we've gone up and it's been a, a summer of upheaval. The ticket prices, which I do think are outrageous. Uh, the manager leaving, Dad and Moore. The chairman with his missives all through the summer, uh, addressing things to various states. Um, and I think maybe one or two fans' frustration has gone out and sort of been pushed towards the, the signings and, oh, this is typical of Wednesday and what have you. And I, I can sort of understand that, but I think it's probably misguided. Let's give these lads an opportunity and see what they can do. Hang on, signed another one. Paul Valentin, a 26-year-old right back. Previous club career, Figueres, Pablo Mafomet, Gymnastic, oh, same as other lad, Valentia, Fuenlabrada, Fuenlabrada, it sounds like one of them Fauna Dales, doesn't it? And Sporting Guillaume. Uh, right back, 26 years old. Uh, oh, possibly, this means uh, Delgado could be playing on the left, could it? Obviously, Marv took a knock. Or possibly we could play both of these down right hand side. We just don't know at this stage. But what I do know, because I just messaged my mate, 
is that apparently he's a proper attack minded fullback, loves to get hold at ball, loves to drive on outside and really get it to him. So, uh, positive there. Pre season results haven't all been positive, but that's a video for another time. So, for the minute, after weeks of panic and all this and other Wednesday, I've now got three over the line before the season starts. So, stepping in the right direction.